Hi, thanks for stopping by again. I uh, wanted to share with you something a little bit different uh, today. Um, if any of you have had a chance to play around with uh, family history, uh, you know we don't always get to pick our ancestors. And uh, not only direct ancestors, but people who we might be related to. And so today I wanted to share with you just uh, kind of an uh, interesting little side note about my 13th cousin twice removed. And this is him right here. His name is Robert Leroy Parker. And uh, while you may recognize that face, you might not recognize the name, but the name that he is more familiar with is Butch Cassidy. And uh, yes, Butch Cassidy is one of my cousins, way down the line and way back, but uh, not a direct ancestor. Um, and that's what I kind of wanted to, to show you uh, about today, tell you a little bit about him. Of course, he is famous as a bank robber and a train robber and pretty much a hustler of all kind. Uh, born in Utah, 1866, to uh, Mormon uh, uh, immigrants uh, out of uh, England. Um, of course, he did not stay active in the church and uh, went on to live a basically a life of crime. <laughs> Uh, there are some stories, though, that he uh, actually tried to go uh, legitimate later in his life. And uh, if you uh, follow the stories, he was uh, supposedly gunned down uh, in a gunfight in Bolivia. Uh, at the time, I think he was working at a tin or a silver mine, uh, trying to go legitimate. He'd actually bought a lot of property and uh, had actually made an appeal to the governor of the Utah Territory uh, to claim amnesty and try to pay back uh, some of the things that, that he owed. Uh, never did work out. Uh, of course, there are those that believe that uh, he was not killed. He and uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid uh, were not killed in Bolivia, but actually made it back uh, to the United States. Some say he wound up in San Francisco, different places. But uh, not so much uh, wanted to, to glorify him in any ways, but the, the reason I wanted to share this with you is uh, I want to point you to a website that I think you might find interesting. If you go, there is a group out at uh, Brigham Young University. It's the Family History Technical Lab. And uh, they do a lot of some, actually some pretty neat software. So what I wanted to do today was encourage you to go to this website. It's FHTL, Family History Technical Lab. So FHTL.byu.edu. And what you do is you log into that website, and uh, you'll find the several different applications that they've developed, which actually are tied in to Family Search. So uh, one of them is called Relative Finder, and you can go in and you can sign in with your Family Search account, and then what it does is it goes through your family history and finds uh, connections that may be famous Americans. Uh, great inventors, scientists, uh, European royalty, uh, famous uh, members of the church uh, throughout history, um, what else, signers of the Declaration, Mayflower, uh, pilgrims, I mean, you, you name it. Uh, just, uh, you can pick and choose composers, um, Catholic priests. There's all kinds of uh, ways that you can slice and dice and cut that, depending on how far back your own family history line goes. So. Uh, I encourage you to go on there, take a look, it's a lot of fun. Another app that they have uh, on that website, fhtl.byu.edu, uh, is a thing called Grandma's Pie. And again, you log in with your family search account, and what it does is it goes back 15 generations and gives you a pie chart graph graphical representation, uh, representation of where you're from. Uh, what part of you is, for example, Norwegian? What part of you is Irish? What part of you? And it basically takes um, your ancestry and breaks it up, graphical representation of where in the world your ancestors came from. It's kind of fun to look at. And then, of course, the last one that I would uh, encourage you to look at, and you can get all, all these options are from fhtl.byu.edu. The last one I think you'll find uh, might be fun. Uh, is um, geneopity, anyway. It's kind of a genealogy version of the old game Jeopardy, where the game itself actually goes in to your family search account, and all the questions are based on your family history. So there's dates, places, uh, people, um, but all of the answers are based on 
you and your family tree. And so it is kind of fun. And uh, it's just like the Jeopardy board, um, the way it's laid out with points. And uh, it's kind of a neat thing. So I'll actually, down below, I'll put the, the link uh, so you can click on it directly. But uh, again, it, you, you don't get to always pick who you come from or who you descended from. But uh, I thought that was kind of interesting that I am a uh, relative or related to um, Butch Cassidy. Um, now, the question is, did he ever run into Black Jack Nelson? Probably not. Uh, but again, uh, knowing that we have cattle rustlers, horse thieves, and bank robbers in our family tree um, just makes it for kind of an interesting read. So hope you enjoy that. Um, there's also all, all kinds of fun things that you'll find in there. So I hope you enjoy playing around with that. Thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.